Okay, let's look at an example similar to 5.9. The parking garage charges a $2 minimum fee to park for up to three hours. An additional 50 cents per hour for each hour or part thereof over three hours. Maximum charge for a given 24 hour period is $10. Assume that no car parks for longer than 24 hours at a time. For a program to calculate and print the parking charges for each of the three customers who parked their cars in this garage yesterday. You should enter the hours parked for each customer. Your program should print results as in a tabular format. It should calculate and print the total of yesterday's receipts. Program that should use the function calculate charges to determine charges for each customer. Your output should appear in the following format. Okay. Now I'm going to, instead of that, I'm going to choose customers. Uh, three customers. I'm going to have them input their amounts that they had in their sales. And it's going to calculate the, uh, the uh, tax, which is maybe, uh, let's say, 5%. Okay. So first thing. Down here, my main, I'm going to have um, a for loop for int x equals zero, continue while uh, x is less than three. So I go zero, one, and two, so that's three customers. And then um, you can also start with one like this. There's nothing wrong with that, and less than or equal to three. So it goes from one to three, x plus plus. Okay. So um, first off, we're gonna we're gonna build upon this. I'm gonna do it piece by piece. So I'm gonna print F, and then I'm gonna ask him to input their uh, sales. So input sales for customer percent D colon, and then I'm gonna put in um, X. Now, just to show you what that looks like, get rid of this. There we go. If I run that, it doesn't look like anything. Oh, there. <laughs> it's uh, customer one, uh, customer two, customer three. And you say, well, that's really great. It's on one line. Yeah, yeah, but we'll handle that. Okay, so sales can be a double. So double percent or percent sales. I'm going to do a scan F down here. And percent, uh, what is it, LF? And then ampersand sales. Now, um, notice on this, uh, this output, we total the hours. So I'm going to total my sales and I'm going to total the taxes. So I need another variable for total. Total <laughs> underscore sales. And why do I have them up there? Not sure why those are up there. Um, I'll put them in my main loop. There we go. Now I need to initialize total sales. So total sales is equal to zero. And then after I bring in sales, I want to add total sales. So total sales is equal to total sales plus sales. Now that's going to accumulate it. Um, that's going to accumulate it down here. Now it looks like we need to print off titles. You want to do that above your for loop. So up here, I'm going to do printf, and then let me think about this. The moment when you realize you've designed your entire program wrong. <laughs> um. I can't put it there. Well, I guess there's no use to cry about it. I'll just uh, redo this. Um, I'm going to have sales one, sales two, and sales three. Uh, 
Not going to have a for loop. Instead, I don't know of any other clever way to do this than, than this based upon a, a console like a table they want printed. Uh, input uh, sales for customer one, and that's going to go into sales one. And total sales is going to equal sales, uh, total sales plus sales one. Okay, now I'm going to repeat this. I'll highlight it, control C, down here, control B. Control B. Change this to two, 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 three, three, and three. Okay. And I need to get that right. And then I'll do a printout and I'll have customer slash T for a horizontal tab stop. And then I'm going to have my uh, sales slash T. And then I'm going to have my tax and then slash in. We'll probably have to adjust the slash T's, but we'll go with that. Then printout uh, percent no, one. A little bit big like that. There we go. Slash T. And then percent um, dot 2F slash T. And then really nothing. So slash N. Because I'll come back to that. I haven't figured tax yet. Um, quote, comma. See if I got something wrong there. Shouldn't have that quote. Then comma, and I'll be passing in sales one. That's all for, for now there. And then print out two slash T percent dot two F slash T slash in sales two. Print F three slash T. Percent.2f slash t slash n sales three. And then my total. Print f. What's my total look like? I have the word total. Slash t percent.2f slash t slash n. I'll handle the, the rest of those later. And then total sales. Okay, let's try that and see what it looks like. Assuming I don't have any errors. Print F input sales for customer one colon. Oh. There we go. Input sales for customer um, 2200. 3150, 750.13412. Uh, okay, so my customer lines up, my sales line up. Uh, that looks like it's adding correctly. So now the only thing left is my tax. Now notice here it says that I need to uh, create a calculate charges. Um, I'll create a calculate taxes. So I need my um, prototype up here. Um, I'm going to return something, so I'm going to return a double. I think I can do that. What section am I in? Go to 5C functions. And um, yeah, I think we're covering returning values. Usually you try not to use anything that's covered in future chapters. <laughs> that's always a good thing. Calculate tax. And I'm passing in, um, what am I passing in? I'm passing in my sales, like that. So this is my prototype. Okay, I'm gonna copy that. 
And um, down here, I'll put the function. Okay, so I'm bringing in sales. I'm simply, now yours will be more complicated than this, but this gives you the general framework of how you can do your program. I'm going to return sales times 5%. So I'll bring in my sales that I'm getting here. I multiply by 5% and return it from where it was called from. So what I can do, different ways you could do this, you could have another variable for those, or you simply could do uh, like a comma here, calculate tax, and I'm passing in sales one. Now I'm doing that after this horizontal tab stop here. I now need a percent dot two F because I'm putting tax in there. And that's the same with all the way down here. There we go. Comma, calculate tax. Sales two. And down here, calculate tax sales three. This is the beauty of functions is you can call them over and over. And calculate. You might say, why don't you just add all the tax up? Well, yeah, it's easier to do this way. I don't have to know the variable. Okay, so now if I run that, um, I'm going to choose easy, pro, easy numbers, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. 5% of 1,000, 10% would be 100, so 5% is 50, I can buy that. 5% uh, of 2,000, 10% is 200, so 5% would be 100, yeah, and then 150. Then add them together gives me 300. So that shows you the framework that you could use to, um, to, to do this. And start out with it small. You know, go ahead and do some of it. Um, get the framework in place and then, then try to do the particulars here. So no, no car parts for longer than 24 hours and you figure out how to do that.